Uh, Chris? Chris Young, Jabu's own place. I have no objection. Thank you. Okay, uh, any questions anyone has about this? Stephanie? Stephanie Ho, Cashman Street. Um, I have two questions. Could you tell us the square footage of the apartments and will the uh, common basement area include space for tenants, trash, and recyclables? Uh, yeah, as far as your last question, is, we'll have a trash room for recyclables and trash. Um, and it will be brought up, if you can see this from, from there, this is going to be a, a ground level alleyway with a door that leads to uh, Mr. Sincati's fire escape as well as for number nine. So the trash will be brought out that way. Um, the square footage is actually, I think it's, it's going to be about, just let me look so I know. The gross square footage is 925 when we reduce it from the elevator and the egress stair will be about 715 square feet net use for the units and then the top two will be combined. Any other questions? Sorry. Dave? Yeah. Um, Dave Cooper? The, the height of 65 feet or 66 feet had caused some of the zoning violations, but Another big issue was the fact that the proposed building is going to cover, or at least was going to cover, the entire parcel. And by doing that, it increased the floor area ratio. By covering the entire parcel, you're still at a floor area, area ratio of 6.0, which is twice as much allowed by the zoning code. There were also some violations of the building code with respect to windows in the back, I think, and, uh, <coughs> and, and other, there are lots of violations caused in part by the fact that the proposed building was going to take up the entire site, and it was not only going to go up against the buildings on either side of it, but I thought it was also going to go up or very, very close to the building behind it. I'm wondering, does Mr. Young own the two-story building behind it? I do. What's the use of that building? Residential. Residential. And there's no windows behind there no. or doors or anything? No. So you right. enter that from the higher building next to it? That's correct. Because I noted I couldn't find any doors to that or a smaller building. Okay, so you're aware that this is going to go up. How close to this building? It's going to be right up against it. And to address your, your window situation, I guess, or question, is the first level is going to be a one-bedroom unit, obviously, with the bedroom in the front to get its required windows. Um, the way that we have it laid out, we're going to be using some borrowed light from the front windows to get into the living space, the kitchen and living room area. We're going to have you know some sliding glass door type of, type of a situation. So the only this windows will be, in the first floor unit will be the windows in the front of the building? Yes, absolutely. Right. Is that the case with the second floor? As that well? is also the case with the second floor. Um, and as, as, as we go up, we'll have a rear windows, and then as we get up here, up here we'll have windows on the side where we'll, we'll, we'll be allowed. And can you explain the emergency egress from the building? You're proposing fire escapes which are not allowed by the building code for new buildings. Uh, and typically they would want you to build a second staircase, emergency staircase. Yes. But to create more living space, you're proposing to put in a fire escape. Where will that fire escape be, uh, and how will people get away from the building if it's on fire? How, especially, how will the first two floors, the people the first two floors, be able to get away from a fire that could start at the front of the building? And one last question on fire uh, uh, escapes is. I thought number nine had fire escapes in the well. No. Number seven. No. Number no. seven no. does. They're not in the well. They are in the well. That's, yeah. That this building is going to block. Potentially, yes. Okay. Whether or not they create a mirror image well, which you hope that they will do. It was a request. Uh, how will people escape the well? once they climb down the fire escape. Well, I think they brought that to your attention. They have a, uh, uh, a corridor, which of course would have to, you know, comply with, uh, you know, fire timing regulations, three hour, four hour uh, alleyway, you might say, okay, with the front door there, where they'd be able to go 
from the street right to the well <coughs> area. And that will be, you know, be able to egress, I would imagine, you know, from the well outside, panic hardware and as well keyed entry from the street in. So yeah, there is, there is a safe way. And that was, as well as for the benefit of their building, it's also for the benefit of number seven because those fire escapes have been there since the building was built and they just need to continue on down to the ground level so that they can access that uh, well area. Is that That's correct, Carl. Exactly That's how you right. So if there's a fire at the front of the building, <coughs> the both the primary egress <coughs> I would guess so, and I would imagine, I suppose the architect could say it better, uh, as I had to do in remodeling number seven, is to have a four-hour wall, you know, uh, uh, produced within the primary uh, entrance of my own piece of property, which is fine, it could have been anything, and I'm sure they'll need to do the same. Uh, ceiling and walls as well. We'll be up against a brick wall like that on, on number seven's property for one. And they would need a firewall, I'm sure, within that alleyway space. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we will we'll have to abide by what the fire department's requesting. You know, we reach a you know a point where we can't get past it, we'll have to redevelop something. But this is what we're trying to get to now. It's going to be a non-combustible materials building. It's going to be fully totally <coughs> uh, so It's going to be a lot of safety factors involved. I would expect that the building built on the fire escape. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions? Uh, Tim Brock, Commercial Street. Uh, the, so the total height of the building is 55 feet. Right. With head house, roof deck, everything is 55 well, feet. That would be the top of the parapet. There's going to be so the head house for the elevator, which will be inset. You won't see it from the street. But will it be higher than 55 feet? Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, second question is: It says six two-bedroom resident, two-bedroom apartments. Is that two on each floor? That's it. That's floor? Yep. That was from the last oh, hearing when it was a seven-story building. This is the Gamgee is going to have the top two floors, and then yep. there'll be four two-bedroom. Well. Okay, so one 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 five one seven. One one bedroom. One bedroom. That'd be kind of low. Thanks. Okay. Uh, would anyone like to speak for or against? Oh, okay. Hi. I'm just Nikki Bradley Street. Going back to Stephanie Ho's question, I think it was your question about the square footage of the apartments. Um, then the first floor apartment will not be 715 square feet. You're correct. <laughs> it will be. It'll be less the alleyway. <coughs> Um, I think what was the first one? I can estimate it would be five times, uh, so it would probably be like 600 and probably 600 square feet for the one bedroom. And the others will be 715. 715, yes. The second floor as well? Second floor as well, yeah. The alleyway is just on ground level. Something additional, Dave? Following up on Tim's question, the roof structure, the building is going to be Um, I don't know if it's below the, the, the 55 foot or the parapet, it shouldn't be. 
possible. And we'll provide you with the plan to get us to work and prepare. And we'll assume that the headhouse for now is not large enough, but is because it's not going to be inhabitable if it's a mechanical headhouse. Okay. Um, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the location of the Lincoln Center? Is as soon as as soon as possible, Angie has called my office many, 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 many times, say, "Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go." So, as soon as possible. Andy, uh, I just had one question. I think it's starting about project. You said there's going to be an elevator. Yes. And how many stairwells? Won't be the one stairwell in the elevator. Stairwell. Yes. Okay. Will that be in the front of the building or the back? It's on the back of the building. And the elevator will be in the front. Okay, it'll be towards the back in front of the stairway. <laughs> you can look at it there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wall issues there and uh, they, they, they it said that they need to get a structural engineer obviously before they even start demolition and actually take uh, uh, inspections of that roof and beam area to see how they're going to go about the demolition. Yes, we've talked about yesterday the steel beams that go right. across that need to be uh, we need a structural engineer to build through all that so so that's those are issues as no. far as the construction that, that's going to be developed as we as we <coughs> How about the reconfiguration? That well, that I haven't heard. I had asked the uh, uh, architect firm the other day, if, you know, just as a request that they possibly, uh, you know, maybe reconfigure some of the uh, layouts of the floor <coughs> so as to allow for a notch, which, uh, as I explained to even Mr. Gangius, is that can also allow for a light shaft and sun to come down to the lower floors as well. One and two and whatever's left of three as bounce lighting will come off. If, if, if that breadth is a little bit deeper, obviously, you have a better angle of sun. Some of it's going to be cut off, that's understandable, but that's the progress of, of a new building going up. However, you know, some things can be made. Now, if it's, if it's um, totally not workable by, you know, their, their, their design or, uh, or, or her preference, you know, we're not gonna stand in the way of a uh, project going up. You know, just for that, but it's a, it's a strong consideration, and the architects should know that uh, this will provide you know light all the way down to the basement if you want. In the middle of the summer, I can get light all the way down to the summer, you know, for an hour or so in the summer and the summer sun. So it's it's that much um, light that comes in, and that can bounce back and forth and be beneficial to them as well. Our interior light, where it's surrounded with three walls without the walls, up to the second and third floor. If you read, so it's uh, it's kind of a win situation if if that's workable. What full name and address? Hi, uh, Ford Cavallari from uh, Battery Street. Uh, I just had a question about the the other buildings on Super Street. I noticed in the elevation drawing 
that this proposed building is about a story and a half higher than the two uh, buildings on either side. Is are those? Is that a common height on Cooper Street? And are there other buildings that jut up a story and a half, or would this be sort of a unique building on the street? No, they're tall. They're tall buildings. They're tall buildings, I'm sure. Across uh, the street. Across the street. Across the street. Both, both, both. Actually, the all of our abutters are very um, happy with this redevelopment at this point and the height. Nobody has problems with the 55 feet. And it does, there are buildings, there are actually buildings that aren't tall, but there are several buildings at 55 feet. On <coughs> so you just have to happen to be next to two that are different, but it's like a jagged. Correct. Yeah. Thank you. Do you mind just having a moment? Oh, sure. Um, I'm Andy Strait. I'm not Marjorie Street. I understand the basement is filled in. We're going to need to. There, it's a slab on top. There was a basement there. We, we think that there's still structure down there, but we're not going to know until we get well, it. Well, our big concern is um, there's a major floor problem in the back there. It's kind of <coughs> so,